All right, so if you like playing Cooking Dash, here are some tips and tricks to help you do better at the game or just um, get some stuff. Some of you might already know there's daily goals and then you get this box. You also get usually uh, one gold. Maybe as you do the game more, you'll get more. Then there's trophies that help you get some more stuff. You can get some more gold, things like that. Go up to 50 and then it will stop counting. Another cool thing is sometimes they'll have these little like events going on so you can do that you know buy that for five dollars they'll have free events too which is basically unlimited play which means you don't use your grocery now in the game when you do the vip or you somehow get grocery it will go up over 50 and then when the event is over then that's when you use your actual grocery so you can get more than 50 by playing unlimited day so um they will do where in the prep kitchen I don't know how many different events they do, but as far as I've been playing this game, they'll do like events where the prep kitchen, so this will only take four hours, that will only take three hours, two hours, so on and so forth. So that's pretty cool when you can do that. I take advantage of those events for sure. Normally you probably just want to grab people's money when they leave, but what's really cool, took me a while to figure this out, is you slide it and it will give you a tip bonus and that will help bring you way over. So if you're having a hard time beating a level, that's a really, really good tip to beat the level. So if you go into the prep kitchen, so you can unlock these. They're going to be worth a lot of gold, but I guess you can use, you know, you can then prep more things faster. But a way to also prep things faster, like this one right here, you can go in here and it will say speed up for 25 minutes, watch the video, or you can finish it now with that gold. But we're going to watch the video. So that's another way that you can make it go faster. So now it's at 29 minutes. Okay. Also the difference between the prep kitchen people, obviously some things take longer. So what these prep people basically do is help you get like extra things like they'll give you leave some groceries, they'll leave some of that, and they'll leave some extra coins. So it's just more like to help you pass the level. Um, so if you are on a level that you almost get like five stars or the gold on, don't waste it on like the ones that are like take forever because uh, maybe save those for like harder levels. So try these like little ones first and see how you do. Usually you can pass a lot of levels that way. I have a lot of these bigger ones because I'm pretty far in the game. This means that so whenever there's like a VIP, there's usually, they usually leave that and that's what helps make that go up. Also, whenever you finish a level, this will go up, and the more you do and unlock some more things, like usually the restaurants, which I've unlocked, I think all, almost all of them. So here you do the groceries and the VIP, you use VIP tickets that the VIP people sometimes leave, like the ones that take like four, four hours or more. Okay, so in order to get more gold sometimes, of course, you can buy them or, you know, do the daily goals or the other goals. Um, you can hit here with video, and right now it says there's no videos, but a video will play. So I think I got up to like eight in one day. So just keep checking back if that doesn't do it. It will do it like the prep person. Also, you can do other offers. Which honestly, I just did the video ones. I didn't do any of these like, you know, download the app and all that. So, yeah, you can watch this video here. See, and then the offer went through. Maybe watch how many videos that you watch because of your data. If this is like a device you pay it on. Or if you um, have an internet service that's kind of limited with data. So just be careful with watching too many videos. With the grocery, you can either buy it. Or I guess you can ask your friends. Alright, one thing to know when you're playing the cutie cake one. So this girl wants a chocolate shake. So I try to put the ice cream in there and I can't. You have to have both hands free. So I add the ice cream in the chocolate. So now I can mix it. It's stupid that they do it like that, but you have to have your hands completely free to make the shakes. So I didn't make the level. So that sucks. <laughs> so a lot of times this will come up, it will say bonus offer. So if you want to get this lady that's in the prep 
Um, you can watch a video, you can say yes or no. Sometimes it will, um, it could be the grocery thing, it could be a gold, it could be money, it could be pretty much anything that they offer. So that's pretty cool that you can do that. I like doing that, but like I said before, watch how many videos that you're watching, you know, to make sure. Um, sometimes it will still pop up even if for some reason it's it says that you don't have any videos, it will still show up. Like it, they only have a certain amount of videos, I guess, to let you watch a day um, or at a time. So sometimes it won't let work, but then I don't get why it still pops up. So, you know, if that happens, that's normal. Um, but yeah, I just thought that that was, that's pretty cool that they throw in those bonus things to watch a video as well. Okay, so let's say you want to play this level and there's no one here. Normally the VIP people or whatever show up there, or the things that you can use show up there. Well, um, that doesn't mean you can't use anybody. I thought that, but that doesn't mean you can't. So you're going to hit the empty button. So this is what's going to show up. So these people here mean that they show up in the level that you're playing or the show that you're playing. Okay, so you'll see these people here. And this doesn't mean that you can't use them. It just means they don't show up in this specific show. Um, so see I can use this lady here if I want so you're just gonna click it and if you really wanted you could use your golds for some people um, But I try not to do that because I only rather use them for upgrades so you can hit that per lady there and Then you can play with her So let's say you want to get to the prep kitchen and you don't want to keep exiting out and all that you can just hit the empty button again and You can hit this button right here. It'll take you straight to the prep kitchen and you can see my girl is still waiting a little bit, but yeah, you can see all the people that you have, how many preps you have. I don't have that many. All I really have is like these two. And then, yeah, you also have a maximum prepared for each person as well. Now, if you get one of those videos that pop up like I showed you before, so now I have this lady. Let's say she had her limit of six. It will go to seven. It won't be a limit if they give you the offer. Now, to prep it in here, it will be a limit. Okay, so um, so yeah, I think that's cool. So then, see, all I have to do is exit out, and then I'm good to go. I don't have to exit out, go in the game, all that crap. Okay, every 24 hours for each show, there will be a little money thing that pops up. So you can just, all you got to do is hit it, and it will give you the money. And then you can see how long um, the money is going to be. You can go into this level here, and it will tell you six more hours until you get your next income. Um, here's the two different shows, here's shows within a show, that's what I basically call them. So if you go in here, what's well, cool about having um, a show within a show is if you want to upgrade, so let's see here, the stove I can upgrade on this and see how much it is and all that. As long as both shows within the one show are using the same stuff, when you upgrade one thing, it will upgrade in the other show. So, like I was showing you the stove. See here, it's the exact same price and everything. Yeah, so when you upgrade the stove in the other one, it will upgrade the stove in the Christmas one. So this one has three. These two are using the exact same things. This one, it's using an oven and a fryer. I don't know if it ever uses the stove, but... Um, so like when you upgrade the fryer, it should upgrade for all three. If you upgrade the stove, it will upgrade for these two. If you upgrade for the oven, it will only upgrade for this one because that's the only one that uses the oven. But I still think that's pretty cool because then you're paying for an upgrade that will upgrade almost every other show within the show. So I always thought that was pretty cool. If you have your thing like this, all the different colors. So basically the gold means that you made five stars and you served all the customers. So that's how you get the gold color here. The tan color means that you did get five stars but you did not serve all the customers. Now, in order to get this tan color into gold, you basically, I could play level six and as long as I served all the customers, then I could make it gold. It won't give you anything extra. I really want to show you is to see this little safe here. It will pop open. Oh, wow, it gave me four. Sometimes it will give you money. Sometimes it will give you groceries. So 
yeah, you're not always going to get gold. I don't know really what makes the difference between like if you will get gold or what, but I just try to do all five stars so that way I can try to get the gold. So, because that's cool. I mean, I have a lot of money right now, but you know, if you need money, it's cool when you get money too. So now, if you go out, it's going to show it as tan because I didn't, I still got five stars, but I didn't get every single customer. This might really help you is if you write down like what, what they order because it will always be the same and I just do little like abbreviations. So this is like a pepper, this is fried chicken, but um, yeah, I just think it helps a lot of times just writing it down if you can't pass the level because knowing what you need to prep, it just helps you go so much faster. I know that sometimes you will have to probably put some money in if you get frustrated and you don't want to wait for gold or whatever, but um, I think it's worth it. And honestly, it's not that bad for how much gold you get, like a dollar's ten of them. I mean, it's really a good price. Um, even a thousand is only 50 bucks. Only if you have the money. Don't be buying stuff if you don't have the money or you don't have permission. I love this game. It's a lot of fun. I wanted to tell you guys the tips and tricks of things that I learned by playing this game because it would have saved me a lot more time and understanding when I first played this game. So I wanted to share it with you what I learned and this is just my experience and if you have other tips and tricks please share them with us. But um, I appreciate you watching. If you like this, if this helped you, please like, share, comment all that jazz, and I appreciate you watching this. Thank you. Have a great day.